here we are another demonstration for you okay this request was from Judy and uh, she is not the only one I have students that are confused about turning projects inside out especially if you're if you're working on something that is not reversible let me let me explain what I mean this sock for example I'm working the toe I cast on with the Judy's Magic cast on. I already have a video showing you that. And I did the increases all the way using the stop mat stitch in the round by knitting the knitting side facing me. Uh, you could have done the pro side, but that's not the case. Let's suppose you're working on a hat, okay? And you start the hat, and the brim of the hat is something that is not reversible. It's not ribbing one by one or ribbing two by two it's a it's a cable it's something different not reversible so you want to work with the public side facing you that's my point it's something that you want to work with the public side facing you then when it comes to the stock net stitch part you new like you prefer the pro stitch as many of the knitters that use Portuguese stop knitting do you want to turn around and work from the inside out like I do so in this example again I have the tip of my sock going and now I decide that the entire sock all the way until I get to the heel I'm gonna purl around if it was the hat I was going to purl around again I'm sorry if you hear something in the background it's my dog she's sleeping behind me <laughs> and she's snoring I can't help but laugh so here let me demonstrate what I'm gonna do okay so for demonstration purposes, I am not going to show you right on the corner here because it's going to be hard for you to see. So here, let me work a couple more stitches on this side. Trying to not split the yarn here. Go. Couple more. And here should be good. So now what I'm going to do is turn my project inside out and I'm gonna do a wrap and turn and people are confused about that so like Judy said I don't see how you do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my yarn down I'm gonna slip the next stitch and turn and by doing that I wrapped the yarn around this stitch here see around the neck of that stitch and I'm going to slip the stitch and I change direction. I'm going to the other side. I'm just working the stitches I had finished knitting previously. And now I already turned my work and I'm going the other way. See? So from now on, I am going to work this sock inside out. I hope you could see this clearly when it's just a wrap and turn, turn, yeah, wrap and turn, just like you do for short rows, okay? That's how I change directions. I change it from the public side to the non-public. Let me pull this needle away. And I'm working from the non-public side and producing the stock net stitch I desire on the public. So let me know if you have more questions about that, okay? You can uh, watch this video again, it's very short. And I hope I made my wrap and turn clear for you. If you have any suggestions or you wanna see the tools that I work with, uh, just contact me, my website is andreawongnets.com. If you're interested in the pins that I use during class and for more like patterns and necklaces and other items, please refer to my website, andreawongknits.com. There you're going to find all you need for Portuguese style knitting.